Hey, how are you guys doing? I know I look crazy right now, but what I'm doing today is going to show you guys my wash and go routine. I'm not going to show every little step, like for example, like me washing my hair in the shower. I'm not going to, but I am going to show you what I'm doing as far as after the shower and what I'm putting in. All right, right now I got my hair in four sections. <laughs> And I choose to break my hair up in four sections because it just makes it easier for me to cover my whole head. Well, now I'm about to hop in the shower and just co-wash my hair. And I'll, when I get out, I'll come back to you guys. All right. Okay, just came out the shower. And I have still have my hair in fours, somewhat in fours. So, what I did, I just co-washed and I detangled my hair with this comb in the shower with the conditioner in my hair. And so, the first thing I do is I take my shea butter, yeah, plain raw shea butter. And I'm just going to put it on each section. And, um, right now at this point my hair is just more like damp, it's not like dripping. Well, some of it is dripping wet, but it's mostly just damp. And so I like to apply the shea butter when it's like damp, not really dripping wet. Because um, when your hair is like more on the drier side, it absorbs the products more. And I want it to really absorb this moisture. So I'm just putting that in. Try to focus on the ends. And I'm going to take a little bit more for my ends. And you guys, as far as the color, the color is holding up just fine. I haven't had any breakage um, from the coloring. So, matter of fact, I haven't had breakage really at all. And so, I think that's pretty good. And then after I um after I put the um shea butter up there, I then take this gel. And this is my silk element gel. You guys, this is a really good gel. Like don't sleep on this. It's from Sally's. And um it's made by the company Sick Silk Element. It's a liquid styling gel. It doesn't have many ingredients at all. And I don't see any ingredients in here that's like really bad. Um, it's only like maybe five dollars and something plus five dollars and something including tax. It's not very expensive at all and it smells really good and it doesn't make your hair hard at all. Like after it dries it feels like you don't even really have anything in your hair. But yeah it still gives your hair a bit of a hold. What I do I just start putting that in my hair. And I just kind of rake it through. And I'm looking at a mirror over here. So you guys won't think that I'm turning away from you all intentionally. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that good. See the curl definition that it makes? But you know what? I need to get a little bit of water because it is starting to um, dry out a little bit and the only reason why I'm getting water for this product is so I can make it scratch so um, I won't have to use as much of it so hold on for a second let me just put a little bit of water on it not just not much just I don't have to make it scratch I grab a little bit of this a little bit more of this that's about all I'm using. This is the consistency consistency of it. It's like a bluish color. And it goes on kind of foamy, but when it dries, it's, it's all gone. But I don't have much of it in here. I might have to use something else for the front of my head. But basically, you guys, I'm showing you this right here because I already done a wash and go video but I'm basically showing you this because this is a different method in how I do it and I wanted to uh, let people know sometimes it's not just the product 
that make your wash and go look good. It could be the technique. And you just have to find the technique that works for you. And that's part of you getting to know your hair. Like, for example, like, your hair might do better when you shingle stuff in. Or either your hair might do better when you just glop it in all together. You just got to find out what technique your hair like. And that's how you should put your products in. So a lot of time, a product might not necessarily be bad. But just because you put, put it in in a technique that your hair don't like, it might come off to be seem like it's bad. I see that's the curl definition I got with that. Let me go to the other side. Ouch. I put a little bit of shea butter in to start off with. Try to smooth that in pretty good. See, got my hands like that. And I just move it on in. And grab a little bit more for the ends. wipe my hands then I'm gonna damp this just a little get my gel about that much and I just kind of rake it through I'm gonna look over here real quick, you guys. And like I noticed that I'm starting to use less and less product in my less and less product in my hair because um I'm like I said, I'm starting to realize it's not necessarily the product alone that makes the hair, it's the technique and how you do your hair. And so when I start to figure out some techniques that work for me, it doesn't require me to use as much product. Let me get up close. There you go. my hair wet. <laughs>